Hello folks, hope you're all doing well. We are back up here at the plot and I'm just hiding out in the polytunnel at the moment because it's a bit cold out there. You know, there's, there's absolutely beautiful sunshine if you can see it through the, the side of the tunnel there, but it's a bit cold so I've got the hat and the jacket on, but they'll probably come off again once I start working. Anyway, a couple of things to update you on. First of all, I am very nearly at my 100th video and we've just gone over 1500 subscribers. So I think if I if I can time it right the the channel at the moment is shown about 98 videos but two of those are unpublished videos that were done for a different project so if I can get a few videos out maybe it's around about sort of the start of February time I'm thinking about doing a giveaway so I've got a spare grow light and I'm thinking about doing the grow light so watch out for that coming up so if you want to keep up to date with that or see that appear in that competition please consider giving us a subscribe just click the button below it's absolutely free if you like this video thumbs up comments all that good stuff anyway enough of that me waffling on what are we up to today strawberries now I saw a question on a Facebook group the other day about what was the favourite, what's, what's your most favourite thing to grow at the allotment? Now, you know, the most tastiest thing, and I think there's two things for me. One is peas and two is strawberries. Now the peas are usually alright and they very rarely make them home because they get eaten here. They're so tasty, fresh, just picked straight away and eaten. They don't get home very often. But the other thing strawberries. Now the strawberry bed it's a bit of a mess it's in a little bit of an area of the allotment that's been neglected a little bit but the strawberry beds there but i think the soil that i originally put in there is maybe it's had loads of weed seeds it was some topsoil i got somewhere and i think it's had weed seeds in it there's loads of weeds in it and it's i mean it's an absolute pain to keep on top of and we had an issue in there with some some of the grubs uh, earlier in the year and i put some new strawberries some bare roots in there and all the roots got eaten and it was a right mess so today is the day it's getting sorted out and the first thing i've got if i hold it up here i've got some of the plastic weed fabric now this often divides opinions some people like it some people don't like it i use it in different places across the plot because it makes it easier for me to manage the place when i don't have time to get up here so what i've done if you bear with me a second there you go you can see it there better here there is holes strategically cut out another one there all the way across that fabric so what i'm going to do we'll head down there we'll lift the strawberry plants out zhuzh the bed up a little bit put the fabric down and replant the strawberries through it i'll head down there get set up and i'll be back with you in just a jiffy right so we're down here at the strawberry bed and if i spin you round there you can see it here so there's a good few really healthy strawberry plants especially over that side further down there and down here there's some here as well but you can see look at all the little weeds in there what an absolute mess so i just thought i'd show you that while i could while i had you off the tripod and stuff so you can see it you know there'll be there'll be a few runners and things in here to get separated and whatnot but all over there we've got the strawberry plants so they're all coming out beds getting done up bit extra compost needs to level raise and we're going to put some feed in there and what have you weed fabric down strawberry plants back in and i'll get you set up with the tripod over there because the, <laughs> the sun's over there and it's absolutely blinding so you might get me squinting but if i put it the other way so i didn't do that you'd get awful flaring right across the screen and the picture would be very dark so we'll set you up over there you'll have me squinting but it'll be a much better video back with you in just a moment right so like i was saying the first job to do is to get all the strawberry plants out it should be pretty straightforward i'm doing it this time of year because i mean today it's still relatively cool but it has been it has been strangely warm around these parts recently so i want to get it done while these are still relatively dormant and before they sort of kick into life and start growing again and whatnot so i've got three tools a trowel a fork and the hori hori knife i'll probably use the fork for most of it to begin with but if anything gets stuck or anything's a bit tricky we'll maybe just dip into one of the other two right i'll get cracking with that i'll get all these lifted and i'll be back with you once that's done Right, so that's the first couple of stages here finished. All the strawberry plants have been lifted. I've given this a, a go over with a hoe and I've raked it level, well, 
level-ish kind of but there was loads there's loads of these little sort of straggly weeds have been hanging about so hopefully now that they've been hoed all the roots have been broken up from the tops it's a bit wet hoeing in the wet isn't so good but hopefully once the once the weed fabric goes on top of that it's going to be a little bit better and it's going to sort of kill all those little weeds off good news there's absolutely loads and loads and loads of strawberry plants and they're all at different stages and i mean looking at the the size of that one that one's maybe about a year old this one here is a, is a lot bigger that's probably nearly three years old and i mean strawberry plants probably only last about three years but the good thing about strawberry plants is once you've got a few you can get even more strawberry plants for free so they send out runners and you can see here where i've where i've cut it to the main plant they'll send out a runner and this little bit of green will root itself into the soil and you've got a brand new plant now some people when they see the runners coming out you get a little pot and you pin, pin the runner down in the pot and it'll grow that and you just snip it once it's rooted because any was going to revamp this bed i've just let the runners sort of they just sort of ran wild and there was there was loads of them over the far side there but i've got absolutely stacks of them so i think i'm going to have way more plants than i need for the bed i think so if i have more i'll give them away to people around and about or or somewhere or something but anyway on to the next stage what's going to happen now is i'm going to put some nutrition in here so the first thing is we've got some of the the chicken manure pellets and i'll just do a quick sort of demo of what i'm going to do and this is just going to get scattered all over there we've got some of the q4 feed as well and i think i think this box has got a bit wet actually at some point and again that's just going to get scattered around there and it's just going to when i've had these plants sort of unrooted uprooted whatever you want to call it and then going back in i want to make sure they get loads and loads and loads of nutrition in the soil here to, to get settled again and get grown again now what i've got i've got over there a fresh bag of compost i'm going to put that in there and then spread out on top of all of that and that'll all slowly break down and feed the plants right so i'm going to finish off putting some feed in there i'll tip the compost in and i'll come back to you when it's ready to do the next stage so that's that bit done so we've got the chicken manure the q4 and a fresh layer of compost on the top there next up the weed fabric is going to go down so this should be if i've measured it properly just just a little bit bigger than the bed itself in theory and like i said before some people like it some people don't one of the problems is you get frayed edges like that if you can see that bits come off but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get one of those little lighter things that people use for barbecues and stuff and go around the holes and go down these and that just takes away all the frayed edges so hopefully it's a little bit windy but hopefully i'll be able to uh, to get this down single-handedly and where have i put it here it is i've got some old bits of pallet to help me out there right apologies if i disappear off camera here because i've just had to come right to the end of the bed to to get this sort of lined up up here and it has right i'm just gonna just gonna stretch that out and that out and that out and i'll put this bit of wood down there again apologies if you can't see me doing this let me come back here we go right i'm coming up this end so you might be able to see me at this end as well you might not now i was pushing my luck at this end and trying to squeeze an extra row of holes in but i think yeah i think i've pushed my luck a little bit you can see hopefully you can see that there because i've got the wide lens on it that i just up the side there so i did push my luck when i was cutting it but not to worry we've not we've not lost anything by doing that and again that's that's nicely lined up let's just pop that there right and i'll grab this little spade so here we are so we've got the weed fabric on and it just needs stretched out a little bit like that and what i've got is i've got these little metal u-shaped hooks and i'm just trying to see if i've got any line around not you know what it is normally they're absolutely everywhere lying around about here but because i want to show you one there isn't any to hand but i'll i'll pin this down properly and that'll stop it sort of blowing away and whatever and if it is being cut a little bit long and what i thought i would do is i'll just leave that over the top there and that's just going to protect that wood a little bit i mean this is this material is porous which is why you can plant stuff through it so when it rains the water will still go through it but hey why not put it over the wood just gives it a tiny tiny little bit extra protection so in theory 
we've got this I'm going to dig our, our little hole there we're going to get our strawberry plant got all the roots pointing in the bottom there and we'll poke it in there we go it's as quick and as easy as that now I've got oh how many was there 18 holes here because the three at the bottom don't quite fit so I've got 18 strawberry plants to put in so I'll get them put in and I'll come back to the end once that's done and we'll show you what the finished thing looks like back with you in a jiffy well kind of because this is going to take ages so here we are the finished article it's all done at last so a quick recap of how we've done this today the strawberry bed the strawberries are everywhere there was runners everywhere there was weeds everywhere it was completely messy so i've lifted all the strawberries out all the strawberry plants i should say and separated all the runners off gave the bed the once over the hole lifted out all the big weeds and just left all the little weeds on the surface and when the weed fabric's down on top of them that'll kill them off so after that there were some of the chicken pellets went in there, chicken manure pellets, and then some of the Vitax Q4 pellets, that's gone in there as well, because when these are getting replanted, I want them to have a good start and have loads of nutrition. Then the weed fabric, no, actually, fresh bag of compost on top, that was on, and then the weed fabric's gone on, and we've planted the strawberry plants through there. Complete mix of strawberry plants in terms of ages. We've got these little ones up here, which would have just been brand new runners, sort of the tail end of last year these ones here that are probably about one years old and some of these bigger ones in the middle here where they've got more space and they're probably going to be about two years old there and speaking of space the weed fabric itself i picked this up for oh, last year on black friday it was cheap as chips and i've just used a, a coffee cup and a piece of chalk to draw the circles so it's 12 inches space that way 12 inches space that way cut the circles out pin it down job done speaking of pinning it down I found some of those metal prongy things that I mentioned earlier on. They just push through there and keep that in place. And I've got it, I've got a stable definitely now going along there just to neat it up. And you know, when, when you're gone, when you're long gone and you're in your bed and whatever, I'll come down here and I'll, I'll get all this trimmed up and make it look nice and neat and tidy. Anyway, I think that's just about it. Remember that competition I mentioned? So if you hit the little notification bell, you'll get a reminder from your phone or from your computer or whatever that'll tell you when that video's come out for the competition. So that'll be a completely free giveaway of a grow light. It'll be UK only because of the postage. It'll be absolutely scandalous to send it anywhere else. But it's just going to be a case of uh, leaving a comment or something like that, and we'll do it on the back of that anyway. But watch out for that coming along. Hopefully I'll time it for the 100th video and everything will go according to plan maybe fingers crossed we'll see how it goes right that's me done for today i'm gonna head home now things to do and all that so thanks for watching and i'll see you again in the next one bye for now folks